Live streaming has taken over. You may have noticed people going live on Facebook, live on YouTube, and even live on LinkedIn over the past couple of months. Well, what if you wanted to go live on all of those platforms at once? How much time would you be gaining back? Well, today we'll go through and I'll show you exactly how to go live on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time. Hey, a time it. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, so to make this live stream work, we're gonna need four different websites. You're gonna need Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, and you're also gonna need Restream, which is gonna tie everything in together. Also, before we begin, I know the question of cost is going to come up, and rightly so, we don't have an unlimited budget. So just know that Facebook, that's free. YouTube, that's free. Zoom, you will need a paid account. And then Restream, you're also going to need a paid account in order to make this work perfectly. We are here at zoom.com. Um, wait, it's actually zoom.us. We're gonna go to my account, then we're gonna go to settings, and then we're gonna go to in meeting advanced, and we're gonna scroll just slightly until we see allow live streaming meetings. I have everything turned on, but you don't have to. What's important to us, since we're gonna do the zoom to everywhere else, we need to go to custom live streaming service. This is what needs to be toggled on. So um, chances are you found it like this. All you have to do is turn that on. It's updated my settings already. So you're going to see custom live, uh, live streaming service. Make sure that that is on and you're off and running. That's what you need for Zoom. So let's go ahead and host a video. Uh, we'll host a meeting. So we're going to go with video off. We're going to open Zoom. All right. So we're just going to join with computer audio. That's fine. This is off. And what you're gonna find at the bottom, let's see if we can move ourselves. What you're gonna find at the bottom right here is gonna go to more, and then you're gonna have live on Facebook, live on Workplace, live on YouTube, live on custom live stream service. This is the four same examples that we just went through. So we're gonna go to live on custom, and this is the important part. This is what we um this is what we need in order to get going. So we're gonna go over to restream so this is restream.io and if you don't have an account i have it linked down below where you're going to get a discount if you go through that link so this is um there is a paid pro there's several paid plans um just depending on how you use it is going to be what it ends up costing you so we're not going to go into two pricing just by rule in this channel because pricing changes all of the time but just know that there's a huge discount down below so um uh there you go all right, so this is what it's gonna look like when you get started, except with these two options not highlighted. So just so you see what you um what you need to do at this point is, you need to add your channels. I already have them, but so you see what happens, all you do is go to add channel, and you see all of the options that you have to live stream to. You can do Twitch, Mixer is uh, gone, so you can't do that. You see YouTube events, which is the one that we're gonna look at today. And you're going to see Facebook personal page. You see LinkedIn. So if you have LinkedIn and the ability to go live there, you can broadcast there at the same time. Now, depending on how many channels you want to go with, again, depends on the price. Um, you can do multiple. You can do two, three, four. There's several options that you can um, select. So all you would need to do is in this example, we're going to select YouTube. And then you just make the YouTube connection. So it's going to ask you to log in very similar to what you would do with YouTube. And then with Facebook, you're gonna click on Facebook and then you just log in to Facebook. So it's something that is super intuitive, super easy to do. So let's scroll back so you see the options. Once you make the connection to Facebook, I'll go to edit settings so you see what, um, what you're gonna be looking at. You see all of the options, well, all the pages that I'm with. So this is the group that I am broadcasting to, oops. This is the group that I'm broadcasting to right here, but you can go into multiple pages. That is totally okay. Um, and go on your personal profile as well. So you have um, you have various options. Depends on how many pages you have in all the groups that you're in. So that is one option right there. And then YouTube events, you're gonna go to edit settings, and then you're gonna see primary YouTube server, 
create an event so you can create a new one and then add some titles do the category and save now if you wanted to update the titles across the entire platform and not um and not do that manually like what you just did what you just saw there all you have to do is put the title the description right there and update it which as you can see here my latest live i um i had a facebook ad campaign for real estate how to actually get real estate leads so that was the title and i put a description on both my facebook live and on my youtube live so once you have that set up all you're gonna need to do is take this url right here you're gonna copy that go to the streaming url and then go back to get the key so you're gonna copy it right here and you see that it's copied to the keyboard uh clipboard you're gonna paste that and then you're gonna put uh, the URL that you plan to go live on. So you can do that to your Facebook group. So you can include your Facebook group's URL. You can put put your YouTube page. That's, um, that's what you're gonna put right there. It won't let you go live without it. So that's what's super important whenever you're setting things up. But let's go back to, nope, not here. Let's go back to here. A pro tip is to, right before you're, you're gonna go live, hit the record button. You never know if it's gonna go through and it's gonna work. You never know if maybe if you're streaming into a group and they delete your video for whatever reason, um, or if it if YouTube malfunctions for whatever reason when you're recording, you never know. So make sure that you go ahead and hit that record button right before you go live so you have that file as a back backup. This way that you can um, have a, um, not waste your time if you will so going live and then have everything be deleted that's just a pro tip it's happened to me several times before so make sure that you record and then you're off and running so this way you have the ability to go live on facebook and on youtube and among other different platforms by going through restream.io all right well now that you know how to live stream it's time to get back to business so i'll leave a video right here that's going to help you do that also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.